So once you've entered After Effects, we're gonna go ahead and look at the footage that we are gonna be using. This is very scary, and we're gonna make it even scarier by adding this effect. So all we're gonna do is go ahead and go to the Effects and Presets panel over here. We're gonna type in Night Vision, and it'll be underneath your Animation Presets, Image, Special Effects. You're gonna drag Night Vision, drag and drop that onto your layer. And so far, it already made it kind of spooky. It gives it that nice green effect with the Venetian blinds, but we're gonna tweak this a little bit. I'm not a big fan of these blinds, so I'm gonna reduce them to about 3%. So if we go to effects controls, the top left, if you don't see them, they'll be in the two arrows here. We're gonna change that transition completion under Venetian blinds to about three or 4%. Let's try four. There we go. It's a little bit less intense on the blinds. I still think it needs some work. So we're gonna go to the effects and presets again and type in TV. So there's a lot of TVs to choose from, but I'm gonna go ahead and choose Bad TV 3 Week and drag and drop that on. Um, it kind of distorts the footage quite a bit, so now we need to adjust that. I just really like the color of this. It desaturates it and makes it kind of look more raw. So we're gonna go to Effects Controls again, go to the Wave Warp here, and make sure just the Wave Warp is selected, not Venetian Blinds. Wave Warp, delete it. Um, it's going to fix those edges. That was a problem that was uh, being caused by that TV. So let's take a look at it now. It's looking better so far. I still don't like the size of these Venetian blinds. So when we added the TV, bad TV3 weak effect, it added some more Venetian blinds. We can actually change that down here in the effects controls again. Let's play around with the width and change this to 4. Okay, and then I'm going to go back up to my other one that I put 4% on and change that to 2%. What I like about these effects combined is that they create a lot of noise. So a typical handheld camera would have a lot of noise in a dark space. And just like that, you have a nice night vision video. Um, you can get even more creative with it. If you'd like, you can add some vignettes. So under effects and presets, I'm gonna type in vignette and that'll be under stylize vignette here, CC vignette. So that darkens the edges a little bit to make it a little more softer, darker on the edges, focus is more in the center. Um, and we can change that as well over here in the effects and presets, uh, how much you want the corners to be darkened and not by adjusting the amount. But I prefer them to be rather dark. If you wanna get more advanced with this, we can add time codes, recording buttons, different frames and things like that. So let's play around with it and see what we can make. So what I'll do next is go over to Effects and Presets, type in Timecode, drag and drop that on, and that should put a timecode right here. Um, if we'd like to adjust it, go to your Effects Controls on the left side, and we're going to go ahead and bring the text position down, and let's slide it to the middle by left-click dragging it like this on the number, and that's kind of small. Bring up the text size and then recenter it. So now that we've added the time code, it gives it more of that found footage look, or it could be like a crime scene, anything like that, security footage, you name it. We have this time code. Um, let's take this to the next level. So let's add some frames. I'm gonna go ahead and go to layer new solid. Change this to, oh, it doesn't have to be white, but I'm gonna go as close to white, maybe like a gray, like that, hit okay. And now that's just gonna cover up the whole screen. I'm gonna go to the pen tool. Go ahead and click on the corner here, not too much in the corner, just general area. Um, you'll be able to see this yellow dot, keyframe. I'm gonna hold down shift and click down here. I'm gonna hold down shift again, click to my right, and then click up, click again. We're basically making a right angle. And it's not exactly perfect, but if we hold down shift, that should help with the corners. So now you can see uh, we, we've put this here. Um, we'll be able to move this around as well. If you click off it here, we can put it in a corner like this. Um, and that looks super cheesy, right? But when we blend it, it'll look better. And what I'm gonna do is bring down the opacity of it by going to that light gray solid, go to transform, bring down the opacity. So it's a little bit transparent. There we go, and we're gonna duplicate that and put it on all sides here. So we're gonna take that red layer, that is this. We're gonna go to Control D, 
We're going to go to effects and presets again and type in flip. So we can go to flip and drag that. It's under image utilities flip. Going to drag that, drop it onto the second gray solid layer we made. And now that flipped it down here. There we go. So now we have those in place. I'm gonna go ahead and hold down shift and click both of those. I'm gonna right click it and hit pre-compose. That's gonna turn it into a file brackets. I'm gonna change it to left brackets. Go ahead and type that in, hit okay. So now those are their own pre-composed layer like this. So all we gotta do is control duplicate it. See these dots over here, this keyframe? I'm gonna bring these over to the other side to, like that, left click drag to put the brackets in the exact same spot on this side as well. And there we go, we have our brackets. You can hold down shift and click the two left brackets. We're gonna right click it, pre-compose, rename it brackets. So now when we move those around, they're all just one. It's still kind of too sharp. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit layer new, adjustment layer, bring that on top. And all the effects that we had on the zombies here, I'm gonna hold down shift and click all of these effects like that. Control C for copying. Control V on the adjustment layer. So make sure you have your adjustment layer selected. Hit Control V. That should paste all those effects onto an adjustment layer. Now it's pretty heavily influenced by that night vision effect we made. And I don't really want that. So I'm going to go ahead and go to zombies and I'm going to delete all by holding shift and clicking all of these effects. I'm going to delete them off of zombies. So now all the effects live on the adjustment layer. I wonder if this will look good with the time code underneath the night vision effect. So what I'll do is copy it from the adjustment layer, control C on the time code. Go ahead and delete it so it's gone. And I'm going to paste it on the zombie. So the only thing that lies on the zombies is time code. Normally, I would thin out these brackets as well if you want. But when you're making your brackets, you can make these thinner. You can choose the thickness that you want. We want to go to Layer New Text. We can select a text, REC. That looks pretty good. I don't know if I like the font yet though, but I'm gonna go ahead and bring that down by grabbing the right corner, holding down shift so it stays uniform. And I'm gonna move it to the top left corner here to fit within this bracket actually. I kinda want it to be smaller. There we go. It's an okay font. You can change it to whatever you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and change the color. So make sure with your text layer selected here, I'm gonna double click it. Then I'm going to go over to the right under the text menu, change the color to a light gray as well. And there we go. That still looks a little white. So we're going to bring that text layer underneath the adjustment layer because the adjustment layer has all the effects on it and boom. And just like that, we have that scary night vision handheld camera effect.